Okay, second time asking this. I'll make it much shorter. Uh, I was just going through, just trying to find a book, actually, Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire by Edward Gibbon. Uh, it's actually a set of books. But I found my uh, the textbook for my old uh, African history class. And it's funny, the teacher was a Marxist, communist. He said this the first day. He actually said he, he still went to church because he had kids and he, he wanted his kids to be raised in that culture. So that was kind of cool. Uh, I just started uh, coming into the church or going to Orthodox Church at the very end of the semester of that class. And one funny thing that he said in the book, the textbook, I think the textbook, I don't know if that textbook, we had to get like five textbooks for the class, it was outrageous, uh, said was uh, that the black Africans were not the first in, in the southern part of Africa, that the Vortrekkers or Boers or Dutch or whatever you want to call them were actually there first, um, and that the Africans uh, would either use it as a, a, a seasonal hunting ground or they never went there. It, it just wasn't. It was not unlivable, at least for the time that they were there. And that the the Zulu was kind of like a manufactured tribe that came down and attacked as it was expanding. Um, now I don't know about. I I had heard um, a woman complain to me at Whole Foods when she was talking about the South Africans and apartheid. This is when I worked ten years ago that uh, the Dutch or the the white South Africans had claimed that there was nobody down there at the time and that they were the first ones down there. I had asked later when I was working at Woodman's, which is a co-op, that uh, I had asked the South African and that, and, and plus the every South African that I've ever met, and there's been 15 of them, have either been white or daisy. I've never met a black South African. Um, what's kind of funny that everyone I ever met that spoke French was black. But it's a different story. And I asked him, and he said, "That's crazy. That's like if the British came here and said there was no Native Americans." Was, okay. He not, might not know about history, though. So I'm wondering if anybody out there knows the answer to this. What is this? I don't want to look for it on the internet because I feel like I'm going to get a bunch of white supremacist websites and a bunch of black supremacist websites. Another strange thing about the class is they said that the the black people, the Bantu people, were not indigenous to Africa, that they came from Papua New Guinea. And the evidence is they brought the banana, iron, ironworking, and the yam. In uh, that the indigenous blacks were kind of like the people, or not the indigenous blacks, the indigenous people of Africa were like the people with the click language who had pointy ears, natural pot bellies, and their penises were half erect all the time. And I've heard that before, that they are an extremely ancient people, and that there are a few other groups in Africa that were native, indigenous to that before 10,000 years, and that the Bantu people, the people who are African American, people called African American or Black American are primarily descended from, uh, the Bantu people are the people who came from Papua New Guinea, and that they, they didn't go the other way. They were indigenous to Papua New Guinea and came this way. And the proof of it being the banana and the Asian yam. And iron working skills. Now the South African thing could make sense. I don't want to jump the gun and be like, that's just stupid. Because of people without irrigation, without using irrigation, why would they live in such an area of a grassland that's not really inhabitable? Um, oh, there was another thing. Oh, a funny story. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was a... Peace Corps worker that had worked, that had lived in uh, Africa for seven years, uh, came into the class and he said the strangest thing in the world to him was that all of his travels in Africa, never did he see anybody go to the beach and go in the water. That was Africa. It was always the white people or the white settlers in Africa that would be in the ocean. The, the native black people couldn't understand. They thought it was the strangest thing that these white people would be going. What, why would anybody go into the ocean? That's just stupid. If you go to the ocean, you go in a boat, you know? And even then, none of them were really seafaring people, so they wouldn't even go in a boat. It's, it's just odd to them. He told a story 
that he said he went over there with a group of Americans with the Peace Corps, and um, this was in the early 70s, and there was a, a Black Panther, or ex-Black Panther, that went with them, and he wasn't very fair-skinned, he was just a regular black guy, and in Africa, they just kept referring to him as that white, hey, white man, they didn't differentiate him from any of the white people, and they did not see the, him, them, him and as themselves. And he would try to say, no, I'm you, and they would get horribly offended. They'd be like, oh, hey, white man, you know, you don't speak our language white, and they kept referring to him as white man. And he was so discouraged and so distraught that he had to go back. Now, it's, I thought that was very funny, but I also thought it was very sad, a man trying to connect back to his past, and they didn't accept him. But I think that's a very harsh reality that black Americans have to accept because they're American. They, of course, already know this and don't need me telling them, and I'd never tell them that. When they were, when many of the freed slaves were given the option to go back to Africa, they said, no, we're American, we're staying here. We're American, you know, that idea. Rightfully so, they've been here longer than most of the immigrant groups. Um, it is their land. But uh, with the South African country, with the South Africa issue, if anybody knows the answer to that, please um, text me, or no, 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 um, text for my sake, PM me or comment, please. Uh, what is, who is, with South Africa, what's up with that? Uh, initially, now, obviously, the dispersion people, things like that, but the settlers, who who was first? 